Lesson six, main verbs and helping verbs. The verb often is often only a single word. Listen as I read each of the sentences below and notice the verb in italics. Eddie laughed at the joke. Georgia whistled a tune. The students cheered. Other verbs are made up of more than one word. Notice how you can build one word verb into a verb with several words. Beth and David collected shells. The verb collect tells what Beth and David do. Beth and David will collect shells. The verb we begin with, collect, now has another verb, will, before it. We call collect the main verb and will the helping verb. The helping verb changes the meaning of the sentence slightly. Beth and David were collecting shells. Here, the main verb is collected, another form of the verb collect. The helping verb is have. As you have seen in the examples, the main verb may change forms when the helping verb is added to a one-word verb. The endings ing, ed, en are frequently used on main verbs. Adding helping verbs and changing the endings do not change the basic action of the verb. However, these changes do modify the meaning slightly. In the following examples, decide which word is the main word and which word or words are the helping verbs. Grace was skating. The vase was broken by accident. Randy has combed his hair. The old Ford has been making strange noises. The back door should have been locked. So we have put all the verbs in the chart and then I broke them up into main and helping verbs for you. Some verbs, words, can be used either as verbs by themselves or helping verbs. Here are a list of them. Here are some examples. Tomorrow is a holiday. We just have the main verb. The pump is broken. Helping verb with broken. Arius has a cold. Has is, the, is a verb by itself. She has stayed home today. Now has is a helping verb with stayed. Now, there are some words that can only be used as helping verbs. Can, shall, will, may, must, might, should, would, and could. Some examples. We may go with you. Dad will finish the pie. Jackie's pre project might win an award. So we have some verbs that are made up of a main verb and helping verbs. Some words can be either used as verbs by themselves or as helping verbs. Finally, some words can be only used as helping verbs. Now you're ready to do the exercise on page 7 of this assignment.